There is a role for exercise in the context of cancer, both in primary prevention and secondary prevention. So primary prevention means preventing the risk that someone actually is getting a cancer, whereas secondary prevention is amongst people who already have cancer. How can exercise help in preventing disease progression, disease recurrence, or how can it improve response to treatment or help patients deal with the side effects from the different cancer treatments they're on? We look at people who already have cancer and with that we can use more statistics and look at the numbers but equally we do work that is linked with colleagues in the lab trying to understand what are the underlying biological mechanisms get samples from patients or we can look at the other end um, what is the quality of life Traditionally, when you were given a diagnosis of cancer, you were recommended by healthcare professionals to take it easy, to relax and see how you get on. When in fact, now there's a growing body of evidence and research for the last couple of decades that show that being physically active at diagnosis, during your treatment and after can have fantastic benefits to help you through your cancer journey. Okay, well welcome to uh, the Guys Camp Centre, we've got our first uh, class for you guys here today. Moderate intensity cardio based exercises. Working challenge on a number of times a week. So I was diagnosed with aggressive prostate cancer in 2011 um, and I uh, was told that I probably didn't have very long to live. I went through uh, a number of treatments and in 2013 my oncologist recommended me to an exercise programme and that has turned out to be transformational for me. So we know that physical activity can help you um, after a cancer diagnosis to prepare you for treatment, get you through treatment and then help you to recover after treatment. It can help with very common treatment side effects like pain or fatigue and loss of fitness, loss of strength and can get you out of hospital that little bit earlier. We also know that being physically active can reduce the risk of developing other diseases that can be related to the cancer or the cancer treatment. And in three major tumour groups like breast, prostate and colorectal, we know that those who are physically active have a reduced risk of the cancer spreading um, and, and also making a very good recovery afterwards. And so I've carried on doing supervised structured exercise uh, and that's really helped me tremendously through going through chemotherapy, radiotherapy and through the hormone therapy that I've been on for the last seven years or so. However, many people who have had cancer will tell you that physical activity and exercise was not part of their cancer journey. What we need to do is take this evidence base and translate it into the real world of our people with cancer. And this is the work that we've been doing with uh, King's College London and Professor Mike van Hamelik so that we can take the evidence that's out there and create um, services for people with cancer so that they can be physically active during their and after their cancer journey. If you've been diagnosed with cancer, please seek out some professional advice for how to get, uh, get started with exercise. We know that exercise is beneficial for all sorts of reasons, particularly as you get older, and the sooner you start, the better.